So, uh, I would like to thank a lot the organizers uh, uh, who gave me the opportunity of speaking at uh, this uh, important uh, conference. Uh, happy birthday, Doug. Uh, and thank you that uh, you asked to uh, organize the conference for your 66th birthday. 66 is a palindrome. He, he, he decided. Uh, he decided on purpose to postpone because 65 is not a palindrome. I don't see any other problem, uh, no. <laughs> it was for this, it was for this. Anyway, um, so happy 66, Doug, you already uh, saw this picture in uh, Jeff's talk. Uh, here we were in uh, Mikulov for the 80th birthday of uh, Alex. And uh, happy birthday from uh, Alex Rosa and uh, Nadia too. Uh, and uh, from also for, oops, also from uh, the old medal, Anita Pasotti. We visited uh, Alex uh, last uh, Sunday. Uh, okay, uh, in this way, it, it seems to be in a circle of the L for uh, alcohol addicted, uh, right? <laughs> so, one more, happy, happy 666, Doug. <laughs> you know that 666 is the number of the demon. Here we were uh, celebrating uh, the medals of uh, Daniel Orsley, James Hirschfeld, uh, John Bamberg at uh, Combinatorics uh, 2018. Uh, anyway, uh, today is not the birthday of, uh, of Doug, it was on June 2. Uh, uh, but today, today is the birthday of one person in the, in the room. I, I remember the, the other day. So, happy birthday, Violeta. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> So, but why Violet is not drinking uh, anything? In which circle of the L uh, she is? It is uh, behind this, uh, this uh, purple door. You see, Violet is here. <laughs> Do you recognize this uh, door? It, it is the door of a lift uh, of the tower uh, here uh, in Toronto. Sorry, Violet, if I joked a little bit uh, about this. <laughs> anyway, let me say, why I decided to speak about construct, explicit constructions of uh, combinatorial designs. The idea came to me after uh, I wrote uh, a paper uh, about uh, highly symmetric Kirkman triple systems uh, with uh, some collaborators of mine. And in that occasion, I, I really wanted everything uh, explicit. Uh, my collaborators, uh, collaborators hated me because if uh, something were, was not explicit, uh, we couldn't uh, submit uh, the, 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 the paper. Uh, so why I have this obsession about uh, explicit uh, constructions? Uh, uh, apart from the fact that uh, this if you can dots dots means that uh, I myself sometimes uh, I cannot, I'm not, not able to give an explicit construction, but why I want explicit, uh, the, the, the designs explicitly? I think for uh, obvious reasons, for the applications. Uh, imagine an engineer who wants, uh, who needs a certain design of certain parameters, and uh, he knows that the design exists for some theorems. He knows that he has to see the final paper about that class of designs. Paper A from author alpha, he goes to see the paper and he discovers that uh, his favorite designs can be uh, obtained using the ingredients of uh, paper B from author beta. So he was going, to, uh, he, he has to look for a paper B 
and uh, he finds that uh, uh, actually he needs also some sub ingredients one in paper C from author gamma another from uh, paper D from author delta the engineer becomes could become a little bit nervous because it could be a sort of labyrinth. Uh, it happens. It, it happened to me that sometimes I want, I know that the design exists. I try to, to find it in the literature, but I don't find it uh, explicitly. Uh, you know, it, it could happen like when uh, you you ask information so nowadays. One time it was so nice. Uh, you call someone, you find a nice uh, uh, lady, give, lady man, uh, giving you some information. So now there is the disk. Uh, are you looking for the for uh, uh, graph decomposition digit one? Are you looking for uh, for uh, a classic de design digit two? Okay, a digit two. Are you looking for a design? Uh, uh, whose replication number is at most uh, 60, call Alex Rose. Uh, <laughs> are you looking for a design whose block size is uh, uh, less than 10, call uh, Julian Abel? Are you looking for a design uh, whose number of points is uh, larger than the number of atoms in the universe, uh, uh, call Kivash? And the engineer would become very nervous uh, with <laughs> with Kivash because uh, there you, you you don't have anything uh, uh, explicit. So uh, it makes sense to to look for explicit uh, constructions. So uh, here I would like to speak about my explicit construction of which I am mostly proud. Um, and it is about uh, all the cycle, the compositions of the complete graph. Uh, cycle decompositions of the complete graph, uh, the problem, the, the, the related problem has been completely solved by Aspach and, uh, Aspach and Gavlas for the old case um, the, from uh, Matea. Hi, Matea, I, I saw you before. Uh, she was there. Uh, Matea Shaina for the even case. Oh, uh, uh, regarding the, um, in, in both cases, odd and even case, uh, the, the, the final answer is uh, a and cycle the composition of the complete graph on D vertices uh, always exists, provided that the trivial necessary conditions are satisfied, which are B must be odd, and uh, uh, D times B minus one must be divisible by uh, N, by two N. Now, uh, the result of Aspect and Gavlas uh, concerning the old case is not very explicit because it is based on a previous paper, on two previous papers from 1989, one from Hoffman, Lindner, and Roger, uh, which essentially says that if you prove that uh, uh, such a design, such a, a cycle decomposition exists when B is less than three times N, then you completely solve uh, the problem. And uh, so they, they, solve the, 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 they solve the problem for V less than three times N, and their proof is based on a result by these three guys, uh, where the, it is a result about Hamiltonian decomposition of uh, four regular uh, circulant graphs. So if you want to, uh, to have a CN decomposition of KV for certain V and N, it is not so immediate because uh, uh, you have to see how these uh, 
result by Hoffman, Linder, and Roger can be applied for your design. It, it, it is clear, no? it, it is not very explicit. So I, um, I'm proud that with these three papers of mine, which are independent, they, they, they are not related, uh, related to each other. These three papers together give an explicit construction of a C and the composition of KV with uh, V with uh, N ODE with the additional uh, property that uh, the construction is either cyclic in some cases or one rotational. So the construction is also nice. It is not good that I say that my construction is nice. I mean, in the mathematical sense, no? if we have a rich automorphism group, we should be happy. Uh, cyclic means that there is a, an automorphism of the, the composition consisting of uh, a cycle of length V, so a, a cycle permuta a permutation uh, uh, permuting cyclically all uh, vertices of the complete graph. One rotational means that uh, uh, the, the, the decomposition as an automorphism consisting of a cycle of length v minus one. So there is a, a fixed point, and uh, the uh, we have uh, uh, the other points uh, permuted cyclically by this automorphism. This uh, for every admissible pair vn, and everything is self-contained. If you want. Uh, and cycle the composition of KV with N odd, it is enough to see in which of these cases uh, you are here. For the case V congruent one or N modulo N times N minus one, there is only one exception that is uh, uh, V equal nine and N equal three. Uh, but, uh, it, 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 Okay, you have a one rotational solution anyway in that uh, exceptional case. Here, uh, the case V less than 3N, so this can be viewed uh, as an alternative proof of uh, the theorem of Alsbach uh, and Gavlas. And all the remaining cases, so V greater than 3N, but not congruent to one or N modulo N times N minus one, has been solved in this uh, paper with Shung Liang uh, Wu, uh, a, a Taiwanese uh, guy. Uh, I remember that I tried to, to write in the paper that uh, in, well, I had an explicit solution, but one reference was, was, wasn't happy about this sentence and said that the construction was uh, intricated. Uh, but in my opinion, it is not true. In, in this case, uh, you have uh, your V and N, you just uh, uh, have to uh, look for an appropriate scholem sequence. And scholem sequences are available. There are the, 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 the tables for scholem sequence. So you, in my opinion, you actually have uh, an explicit uh, construction. This, just to give a, a, an example of ex, an explicit construction, I told you this is the, my, uh, my favorite explicit construction. Let me speak about existence uh, uh, of cyclic Steiner two designs. So cyclic, uh, I told you, it means that uh, we have an automorphism uh, consisting of a single cycle of length V. Uh, what uh, can we say about uh, cyclic uh, Steiner two design? For K equal three, uh, everything is known and uh, quite easy. Uh, we know that there, is, there exists a cyclic Steiner triple system uh, of order V for all admissible V, except this is a, I forgot to, to point out that this is a definite exception. It, uh, it, it is essentially what I said above. We don't have a cyclic uh, 2931 design. And uh, it was sold a uh, long time ago in 1938. But uh, if uh, we add one, the next K4 becomes extremely difficult, extremely difficult. Uh, so for K equal four, uh, what, 
can we find in the literature? Uh, uh, we have many explicit uh, and pretty constructions for uh, some specific uh, values of V, for some classes of V, uh, starting from uh, uh, the, the, the paper of Bose of 1939, uh, where he, he essentially proved that there exists uh, basically two uh, P for one design with P, uh, where P is a prime provided that a certain cyclotomic condition is satisfied. At the moment, I don't remember exactly the condition. Wilson improved a little bit this construction. Then uh, in 1995, I found that the necessary and sufficient condition to have uh, that kind of design because uh, in the case of Bose, the request of Bose was not only uh, that the design is cyclic, but uh, some more automorphism. Then there is a construction of uh, Charlie and uh, Rudy Malton in 1980, several constructions. And then uh, uh, in 1999, uh, an important result was obtained by Chen and Su, this Chinese guy, this is Li Zhu, who had the, the brilliant idea in, in, in this topic. I, I think that the uh, theorem of veil or multiplicative character sums is applied quite often in design theory, in, in, in combinatorics in general. But in, part, in particular, in, this, in these topics, the first, the first one to consider this theorem was Li Zhu. Um, now, I don't remember if uh, in this paper he uh, actually used the, the theorem of Veil, but something uh, similar. And they proved uh, that uh, there exists a 2V for 1, a cyclic 2V for 1 design with V a prime, but with a construction which is not very explicit almost explicit. Uh, they give the receipt, actually I gave in, uh, in advance the receipt, but I wasn't able to, uh, so I observed in, uh, in a paper on mine that uh, it, it should be enough to find a special element in the field ZV, V is a prime, uh, such that the, the list of differences of the set uh, 0, 1, x, x square, x is the element which we are looking so it is uh, a list of 12 elements is evenly distributed uh, over the causes of uh, blah 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 now it is it is not so important to to give uh, all the details and that if they prove that this is it is always possible to find this special element x with the theorem of veil and actually, it is almost explicit because if you want your 2v for cyclic 2v for one design, uh, you, you take the computer and you have to find that v, the special element x, if v is not larger than the number of atoms in the universe, uh, the computer in uh, two seconds, five seconds, find the element x because usually there are a lot of elements x uh, satisfying the condition and you are happy. But actually, the construction is not very explicit because we, you don't have uh, explicitly x uh, for each of these v. It, it would be nice, but uh, uh, it can be deduced from the construction of uh, Chen and Zhu. Uh, then uh, uh, there are many constructions where v is the form four times uh, P with P a prime, in particular, I proved in a DCC paper that when P is a prime congruent to one modulo 12, uh, we have the desired cyclic design and the, the construction is explicit and pretty. Uh, so uh, you, 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 you can find in a few lines, uh, uh, you can prove that the design exists in a few lines algebraically. But uh, here we are very far, 
very far for, from the uh, final solution, which are the values of V for which there exists a cyclic 2V for 1 design. Well, great new, great new. Very recently, uh, these uh, three Chinese guys, Zhang, Peng, and Wong, actually completely solved the problem. There exists uh, a cyclic 2V for 1 design for any admissible V, the, tri the, 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 the trivial conditions for the existence are V congruent 1 or 4 modulo 12, with these uh, definite exceptions, 16, 25, and 28. This uh, is really an outstanding result because the result is expected. I think uh, that uh, everybody working in this kind of problems expected that this was true, but the proof was not uh, expected. Uh, I was handling editor of uh, this paper. The construction is explicit, explicit. So I'm happy of this, but unfortunately it is not so pretty. It is not so pretty because there is a long list of blocks and blocks and blocks, and I was shocked. But I asked four referees, four good referees, and in the end, everybody, I myself, the editor in chief, Peter Jugnik, that the result is actually correct. And I told you, it is an outstanding result, absolutely unexpected, uh, I told you, the result was expected, but not the proof. They are Chinese. I mean, I don't know if it is international, but in Italy we say, you need uh, the Chinese patience. What do you say, Shuxing? It is international or? <laughs> in Italy we say, you need uh, the Chinese patience. <laughs> Do, do you know in China that uh, we had uh, this, uh, this thing? Yes, yes, uh, we say, well, we Italian, uh, we, uh, we are not so patient to uh, really, there are, uh, I think that there is a list of more than 500 blocks. So you understand what I mean. So, oops, you, now you think uh, there is a mistake. No, this is my first slide of the uh, combinatorics conference that um, was held in Mantua uh, two weeks ago. Um, I realized uh, that uh, actually the, the, the main topic of uh, my talk there, strong difference families, was uh, good uh, for, uh, for this conference because strong difference family are actually uh, a good tool for uh, obtaining uh, sometimes the signs explicitly, but sometimes uh, no. Uh, I told you, I myself sometimes have some uh, problems. And it is good because uh, in this way, I can also speak about uh, some joint work uh, with, uh, with Doug. Uh, I introduced uh, strong different families uh, in 1999, but actually I was the first one to, uh, to give uh, the, the, the definition explicitly. Uh, it, is implicit, it was implicit in the literature for more than 100 years. So uh, I would like uh, to, uh, to say which is the philosophy behind the strong difference family. I, I don't want to give the details because it could be, it is very technical. It would be very boring. So I want, I would like to, to show you some examples where a strong difference family or something similar can be applied. Very, very simple. I will give the proof, so be prepared. Uh, <laughs> I usually don't give the proof, but they are very elementary. I think that they are good from a didactic point of view, the very simple things. So you understood that probably you know that my favorite designs are those having as point set a group G. Most of the cases uh, G is uh, uh, 
a sharply uh, transitive uh, automorphic group of my design. Well, if n is a normal subgroup of G, and I want to construct uh, a design with point set G, the properties uh, of my putative design, of the projection of my putative design on the quotient G over n can be helpful. Uh, sometimes improving that the design does not exist, red light, sometimes uh, to construct the design. So I think that uh, the, an alternative proof of the very famous theorem of Schutzenberg that nowadays became uh, a part of the brack riser chola theorem, uh, with this method is, uh, uh, is very good from a didactical point of view. I, I don't know, probably it was uh, already known, it is in some uh, uh, books. But, uh, the theorem Schubert-Berger says that if you have a two VK lambda symmetric design with V even, then K minus lambda must be a square. And the proof is very elementary. You have to look at the incidence matrix of the design. With Doug, in a recent paper appeared in uh, Arts Mathematica Contemporanea, we noticed that, that uh, an alternative proof in the special case that the design is generated by a VK lambda different set in a group G with a subgroup uh, n of index 2 uh, can be obtained with a, essentially with the method of strong difference families even if i i, I didn't uh, formally say what is uh, a strong uh, difference family so you can uh, uh, reason uh, in this way assume that you have uh, so it, this is a special case of uh, the theorem of schutzenberger because the theorem of schutzenberger is true in general i I'm proving in the special case, but important case, that the, the, the symmetric design is generated by different set. Assume that you have a VK lambda different set in G, uh, which is the meaning. The list of differences of S is lambda times all non-zero element of G. This is our G. We have the yellow subgroup of index two. Uh, the remaining elements are the, the, the blue element. So if I consider the quotient G over N, I have Z2, 0, and 1. So this uh, equality uh, implies uh, the, 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 the obvious necessary condition for the existence of a different set, K times K minus 1 must be equal to lambda times V minus 1, which can be seen if you bring uh, lambda v uh, on the left hand side and minus k on the right hand side uh, k square minus lambda v equal k minus lambda so we have to prove that k square minus lambda v is a square now project this putative different set on n s bar so the projection becomes a series of zeros and ones. Assume that you have A zeros and B ones. So which is the list of differences of S bar, which is a, a multiset of zeros and ones. If you look at this orange equality, um, you see that uh, Delta S bar, for instance, how many ones, how many ones you have? You have to cover all non-zero elements of G lambda times. And how many uh, ones you, you, you obtain? G, the, the blue elements are V over two. Each of them has to be counted, uh, has to be repeated lambda times. So here we have, we need lambda, v uh, over two times one at the same time delta s bar if i look at this purple equality consists of uh, how many zeros and how many ones look at the ones how many how many times i can 
obtain one as differences of this multiset of zero and one. So I can obtain one, one minus zero, one minus zero, one minus zero, or zero minus one, zero minus one, zero minus one. How many times? Two A, B times, that they're very elementary observations. Anyway, so you compare these two numbers and you deduce that A times B is lambda V over four. Also, A plus B is the size of S, so it must be equal to K when we apply the, 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 the easy thing that we learned, learned in, uh, at the first year of high school. I, if uh, you have two numbers whose sum is S and uh, whose product is P, they are the solution of the quadratic equations X squared minus SX plus P equals zero. So A, B are the solutions of this equation. But A, B are integers. So uh, the discriminant must be a square. The discriminant is K squared minus lambda V. So K squared minus lambda V must be a square. And we, we found what uh, I told you. Uh, we, we, we didn't discover nothing uh, spectacular, but I, I just wanted to show which is the idea. Now, another example. Uh, I often look for optimal difference packings, uh, in particular, which could be in particular sometimes difference family. Uh, which is the meaning uh, here for instance we have an example of uh, an optimal 15 3 1 difference packing whose blocks are 0 1 3 0 4 9 a and b which is the meaning the meaning is that if i look at the difference of a this is the uh, difference table of a and the difference of b this is the list of differences of b you understand? No, uh, zero minus one, we are in Z15. If I don't write the group, it, it is understood that it is the secret group of that order. Zero minus one, 14, zero minus three, 12, and so on. I see that uh, the, the list of differences of A and B together has no repeated elements. And uh, there are, three misses, missing differences, which are zero, seven, eight. So this is a difference packing. Also, the only zero, one, three is a difference packing, but with only one block, it is not optimal. This is optimal because of course, we cannot have an optimal uh, a, a packing with one more block. Because if I had one block of size three, I, I would have six more differences. And this is not possible because uh, I would cover some elements uh, more than than once so you understood what is uh, an optimal difference packing now uh, there is the, the, this result is uh, quite famous there are uh, i think that there are many proofs uh, in the literature but i think that uh, the first proof uh, is uh, hidden in a paper by phelps and rosa of 1981 about uh, one rotational Steiner triple systems. Anyway, here I like to mention Baird and Kidwell because they published the, 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 the proof in the bulletin of the Institute of Combinatorics and its application. Do you know the, uh, the Institute of Combinatorics and, and its application? Please join us. There are prizes, the important awards of the Institute of Combinatorics and its application. Here we have two, uh, uh, the, the, the two winners of the Stanton medal and the old medal. Uh, sorry, uh, it, is, it has to be my job. Uh, I, have to, I have also to advertise. Anyway, uh, so optimal parking so with block size 3. Uh, when V is congruent to 14 or 20, modulo 24, we have no optimal V31 difference packing. And also here, the, the, the proof, I'm sorry, I tried to be, to be fast. It, it, is, it, it is very fast, but it, it is in order to make you understand which is uh, the idea in, uh, behind the strong difference families and more sophisticated uh, topics. Assume that, uh, uh, consider the case V congruent to 14 modulo 24. So V is of the form 24M plus 14, and assume that uh, an optimal, 
V31, different family, uh, the different packing exists. So V is of the form six times for N plus two plus two. If the difference packing exists, it must have four N plus two blocks if I want optimal. Each of block produces six differences. And then uh, I have two missing differences. Now the missing differences, we are forced, we are forced to, uh, to um, the difference, uh, the, the missing differences are forced to be zero and the involutions of course we cannot have zero but not even the involutions because if i have the differences x minus y giving the involution then y minus x is also that involution which would would be repeated twice this is not possible so the the missing differences are these now so we have this four m plus two triples uh, forming a difference packing now consider a triple b and consider B bar as before. I consider the yellow subgroup of order uh, 12M plus 7 of ZV and uh, its uh, complement. Zero is in, in the yellow part, 12M plus 7 is in the blue part, are the missing differences. Now, a triple B reduced modulo 2. So G over N, as before, could, is uh, either three times zero uh, or three times one, one times zero, two times one, one uh, two times zero, one times one. Uh, in these two cases, uh, we get uh, six zeros. In these other two cases, we have two zeros and four one. So we have two types of triples. Now assume that A is the number of blocks of type 1, B is the number of blocks of type 2. So A plus B is the total number of the difference packing for M plus 2. How many yellow differences? I, uh, the, 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 I want to cover all the yellow differences except 0. So 12 M plus 6 uh, uh, yellow differences. And if the blocks of type 1 are A, these blocks uh, give 6A yellow differences. If the blocks uh, uh, of type 2 are B, we have 2B yellow differences. So 6A plus 2B must be equal to 12M plus 6. Same reasoning uh, considering the, the blue differences. The blue differences uh, uh, must be 12 m plus 6 because all the blue elements except the involution and they must be equal to 4b you in the end you find a contradiction you find 4a equal 4 m plus 2 so this optimal parking cannot exist so another proof so everybody escapes now but this is a, just a little game. Uh, this kind of uh, uh, proofs remind uh, me a lot uh, the so-called mutilated chessboard problem. Probably some of you, uh, uh, many of you, uh, know this uh, this uh, puzzle. This puzzle. So you have uh, the usual chessboard, but without uh, the two squares. Uh, at the extreme of uh, uh, diagonal. So it is like to, to, to play without a rook. Uh, both players uh, uh, play without uh, a rook. Not comparable with the horribly mutilated chessboard considered by the old medal, uh, Anita Pasotti. David Pike mentioned one of the, his work about uh, uh, a toroidal uh, chessboard with a lot of holes inside it is a, with a perverted piece moving in a strange way uh, i don't know maybe she will speak about this uh, today tomorrow in her talk uh, i don't know no no uh, okay anyway the puzzle is the following uh, tile the mutilated chessboard with uh, 31 dominoes each domino uh, uh, covers uh, uh, two adjacent uh, squares 
How many non-isomorphic solutions uh, did you find the answer? The answer is easy, zero. It is not possible. Chess players are advantage, of course, because they know that there are squares of uh, two colors <laughs> on the chessboard. <laughs> because the removed squares have the same colors. So uh, 31 dominoes would cover only uh, 31 yellow squares and 31 blue squares. But here we should uh, cover 32 yellow squares. So uh, it is not possible. But it reminds a lot, in my opinion, the, 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 the problems that I uh, told you before. Here, it is like to reduce modulo uh, blue squares and uh, yellow squares. So uh, in that paper with Doug, uh, we were reasoning in uh, uh, in a similar way, but with, of course, with more sophisticated arguments, we found many non-existence results that uh, uh, were unnoticed in the literature. For instance, uh, there is no V51, optimal V51 difference spiking whenever V is congruent to 22 modulo 40. Another similar result for optimal V71 difference packing. There are many here, I indicated only some of them. And also with, a very, with very similar reasonings, uh, we established the, the non-existence of certain Steiner, cyclic Steiner two designs uh, with uh, two or three base uh, blocks. For instance, uh, if uh, V, is of this form, 2k, k minus 1 plus k, which is an admissible value for the existence of a cyclic design with this parameter, k must be the sum of two squares. So what is a strong difference family? But in a certain sense, a strong difference family was also here. Also here, you see this putative, putative optimal difference packing as list of differences which modulo two cover two m uh, two m twelve m plus six times uh, zero twelve m plus six times one. So th this should be a two three. 12 n plus 6 uh, strong difference family. Let me try to explain. For instance, here we have a 6, 4, 2 strong difference family. Here it is maybe better to speak about uh, difference multiset because I have only one block. 0, 0, 1, 4 in Z6. If you make the list of differences, you see that each element of Z6, zero included, zero included, is repeated two times. So it is a six, we are in Z6, four, because the blocks has size four, two, because every element of Z6 is repeated twice. Strong difference family, in this case, uh, uh, difference multiset. I, I introduced these strong difference families in 1999, but they were implicit in the literature since a long, long time. Uh, maybe it was not so happy. I don't know. Uh, after some years, uh, I thought maybe it was better to call them skeleton difference families, because in a certain sense, they are the skeleton of a difference family in the, uh, the usual meaning. So starting from a strong difference family, the skeleton, I, I may dress the skeleton in order to have uh, a difference family. And recently, I'm even more uh, disappointed about my choice of the word strong. I, I call it strong because, strong because also zero we want in the differences usually in a different set, uh, more generally in difference family, we don't want a zero in the list. So difference because they are sets, not multi-sets. But uh, recently, Doug, uh, Maura, uh, think, uh, I think you, 
uh, introduced the strong external difference family. So now some people uh, uh, is confused, but there is no relationship between, uh, between strong external difference families and uh, uh, strong difference family. Anyway, it, it would be uh, difficult now to change uh, terminology. Here we have another example of a strong difference family with two blocks. It is not necessary, it depends what, what, what you want to construct. It is not necessary that all blocks have the same size. Here we have a block of size three, a block of size five. And this is a 13, I mean, we are in Z13. Three, five, two strong difference family. Three, five are the, the, the sizes of the blocks. The first block is A. This is the difference table of A. The second block is B, the difference table of B. And you can see that uh, delta A union delta B, all differences, cover all elements of Z13, zero included, two times. This is why is a strong difference family of, with lambda equal to two. So, uh, I told you, I don't like to give the technical details. It would be even more boring that, uh, that, than what I'm uh, saying. Uh, just to give you an idea, uh, I told you, uh, they were implicit in the literature since uh, the 19th century. For instance, uh, the, the single block 0, 0, 1, 1, it is readily seen that it is uh, a three, four, four strong difference family. We are in Z3. If I, you take the differ, difference multiset because it is only one element. And this uh, uh, difference multiset was implicitly used by Moore to construct uh, the designs uh, with these uh, resolvable designs with these parameters. It is implicit in the construction. Um, you can check that this is a seven, seven, six, six strong difference families. Let, let's say difference multiset, considering that it is only one block. And this was used, uh, implicitly used in a construction for cyclic uh, two, seven, Q, seven, one design for any Q congruent to one modulo six, cyclic if Q is a prime. But Q could be also a prime power, and the, the construction work, uh, also works. And it was also used by Rudy Matton uh, some years uh, before, in the special case that Q is equal to 31. Uh, he gave the first, the very first example of a unital whose parameter is not uh, a prime. And I myself, uh, at the very beginning, uh, I was using strong difference families, even if I didn't uh, introduce the, 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 the terminology. For instance, uh, these two blocks of size five form a strong difference family in uh, the uh, elementary abelian group of order four blocks of size, uh, sorry, this is, this is wrong, this is five. 10 strong difference family. And I used this strong difference family implicitly to construct designs with these parameters in a paper published in Aust uh, Australasian Journal of Combinatorics. Uh, sorry, the, the, the final construction are, there is the implicit use of strong difference families, but the, 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 outcome, the outcome is an explicit construction of uh, designs. In, each of uh, these cases. Also here, another example so with uh, Fulvio Zuani, we essentially used this uh, strong difference family. You see, they are, they are very simple, but indeed uh, in my paper, in my JCD paper, where I introduced the strong difference family, I emphasized the fact that even a trivial strong difference family, very easy strong difference family, could give a lot of designs. This give uh, uh, an infinite family of Kirkman triple systems, uh, one rotational Kirkman triple systems. Well, at a certain uh, at a certain moment, uh, I I asked myself about what what are you what are you doing? Uh, I, I noticed that uh, I was repeating and uh, repeating in a certain sense uh, some construction, and I introduced the notion of 
from different families and in a certain sense, uh, I killed, in Italy we say, I killed the chicken that laid the golden eggs. Jim Davis recently said to me that uh, in English, uh, you say the goose of the golden eggs in a certain sense, because you know, you, each time if you understand the trick, I'm not saying that authors tricked, not, no, probably no, but uh, one uh, that you have a, you have a strong difference family, you construct a class of designs, another strong difference family, uh, a class of designs, and papers, and papers, and papers. Oh, I'm so happy. Now, uh, I decided with uh, Anita, uh, she was my assistant in this murder, to, to, to kill the, 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 the goose of the golden eggs, uh, in a certain sense, uh, because uh, we proved in particular, these are only particular cases, uh, where we proved, for instance, that whenever we have a KK land, a strong difference family, there are a lot of examples, uh, then you have a two KQ, K1 design for any prime power Q satisfying this, this congruence sufficiently large. But you understand here, I'm not so happy. It is not explicit. There is behind the theorem of the multi or multiplicative character sums, and you, you don't have to find a single element X satisfying certain conditions, but many. And a similar uh, result here. But actually, I think that. Uh, we, we were not able to, to, to kill the, the, this, uh, this goose. But, uh, she is still alive because Strauss difference family continued, continued to produce a lot of results. Uh, in particular, my uh, PhD student, Simone Costa, in, in, together with uh, those Chinese guys, those of the V41, uh, the cyclic V41 designs, found many new parameters of uh, small two designs. Uh, uh, possibly resolvable using strong difference families. This is the, 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 the work that I told you at the beginning. It is extremely technical. I couldn't give a talk about this. You, you killed me. You are even angry. Now, if, imagine if I spoke about uh, this paper. Anyway, <laughs> very, very technical, but I'm very happy. I'm very happy because it is the first family of highly symmetric, you understand what I mean, with a very rich group of automotive of Kirkman triple system. Uh, with Anna Marie Nakic, with, with strong difference families, we found infinite, infinitely many V for which there exists additive two VK1 designs for uh, almost all K, except those congruent to two module four of those of this form. It, additive means that uh, uh, the point set is a group G and the, the, the sum of all elements in each block is uh, zero, but it, it is not explicit at all. V is huge. With Dieter Jugnikal, let's hope in this century, uh, because I'm very slow, we, we will publish uh, a result about harmonious linear space where strong difference families were crucial. Harmonious, we defined a linear space harmonious. If it has an automorphism group acting uh, sharply transitively on the points and uh, transitively on the parallel classes uh, with whose uh, lines uh, belong to any given subset of positive set of positive integers provided that it is not a singleton well i i forgot the last slide <laughs> It is the usual way to finish uh, uh, the, the, the talks of Doug. Thank you.